Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Nick the Booksmith and welcome to my mess. <laughs> I am supposed to be finishing a journal, so what am I going to do? I'm going to work on a totally different project because I needed a break. So, and I thought I'd film it because I thought it was really cute and I thought maybe you guys would like to make one. So, let me show you what I did. Um, this is one of those tins that you can get at, um, you can get them, they're Altoid tins is really what they are, they're empty Altoid tins, um, but you don't have to even buy them with, oh my hands, with mints in them anymore. You can get the plain boxes. Um, I know Hobby Lobby carries them and they're like a dollar ninety nine. And then of course with your 40% off coupon, they're just a little bit over a dollar. So, but what I did, it was a really shiny, uh, silver and yuck, right? <laughs> so I put it down in the bottom of a cardboard box and I just took some cheap flat black spray paint and what I did was I didn't, as you can see, I didn't paint it solid black. I just kind of just enough to give it a real dirty tin look. So as you can see, um, it doesn't look shiny anymore. And that's kind of what, what I wanted. So what I'm going to be doing is making a little teeny tiny little, little shadow box, you know, like a little, like a little story box and um, they're really neat and I've seen I've seen them done in lots and lots of different ways and I've never made one before <laughs> so yeah so let's film it let's film it and do something all right so I've collected some things that I thought I would like I thought I'd do like a vintage sewing kind of a theme um, and I got this and of course this has nothing to do with sewing I have a little teeny tiny Webster's dictionary, like a dinky dinky one from the 30s. And I cut out a page. And what I did was I just placed this on top of the paper and I drew around it and then I trimmed it so that it would fit. So what you have to decide is, is your door gonna open this way or is it gonna open this way? Um, I'm gonna have it open this way kind of like a book like this would be the front cover of a book so this is going to be my my inside so if that makes if that makes any sense whatsoever so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to glue that <coughs> excuse me down in there <sighs> forgot my glue on the other table so I'm just going to use some Fabrifix. I don't think it's going to matter all that much, honestly. Um, so, and this stuff eats absolutely eats um, paint. So, just FYI, it's made. It has an acetone base, so it eats paint, but it doesn't matter. So there is. I'm going to put that on the inside. Cute, cute, cute. And what I am going to do, I think, is I have this little picture frame, and I can't remember where I got it. It was in a scrapbooking department somewhere for like, it was like a set of a couple of them. And it was white. It was like a white plastic. So I spray painted it again with the black, but I didn't spray paint it solid. I just kind of like I did this just to kind of knock the white down. And then I took some of the gilding wax paste stuff and I just rubbed over the edges to give it a little bit of a gold sheen. So what I thought I'd do is I'm going to take one of these Tim Holtz photo strips and I think, I'm not sure if I like this girl or this guy or I just kind of picked one out. So kind of put your frame over it and see if you like one or the other. Okay, I think I like this lady down at the bottom. I think she's a nurse. I think she's a nurse and so I'm going to choose this lady down here for no no reason really at all um, and you got to trim it down because it's too big it's too big it's too big because we're going to glue that on the back side of that little that little frame so where's my glue okay here it is try not to make this video like you know an hour long 
I know you people have other things to do. So I'm gonna put a little bit of glue on the back of this puppy. And I'm gonna take the lady and I'm just gonna plop her right there. Here we go, cute little nurse. I don't know why I chose her. She just, I don't know, doesn't matter. It don't matter. Okay, so there she is. There she is in the picture frame. So she's gonna go in here on, kind of like on the wall kind of a thing. So she's gonna be on the wall. And let's see, I have some little things that I have collected here. I've got this little, um, like a, you know, hanger clip. <laughs> um, I have some little scissors. Um, I typed this out and then printed that out. And then I found that on Google. It's just an old, um, the cover of a, you know, a simplicity pattern. And then these were some, um, just some ephemera, some sewing ephemera that I had. I have this little purse charm. I've got the little bulb pins. Um, I have somewhere like some little scissors that are made out of metal. Cannot find them for the life of me, so, you know, because that's, that's how I roll. I do have this little spool that I thought was kind of kind of cute. And then I have, you know, these are just the little clips that you can buy. Tim Holtz carries them, and I think, oh, um, uh, what's that other company? Anyway, you know what I'm talking about. So I just took a lightweight piece of chipboard and I cut out a little um, two by three rectangle and then I uh, corner chomped the ends and I, um, you know, distress inked, you know, distress inked around the edge. And then I glued it with some glossy accents so it would stick this little metal clip. And it makes a little teeny tiny clipboard. Little baby clipboard, it's so cute. So anyway, the little clipboard is gonna go over on this side. And I think I'm gonna clip the, um, the little simplicity pattern to it as if our little nurse friend here is going to be making one of these dresses that that's that's on her to-do list isn't that sweet it's so stinking cute okay so that's probably going to happen let me scoot that up because my little ocd brain is like no okay all right so that's going to go here and of course I'm not going to glue the pattern in so you can replace if you make little baby clipboards you can um, unclip and reclip things as you see fit. So let's glue the clipboard in. Let's just let's just do it, man. Just commit. Let's just commit to it. That's probably way too much glue. So good at that. So, I'm just going to kind of, I think I'm just going to kind of center it with its massive amount of an ocean of glue back there. So that will, that will sit and that will adhere here in a second. Let me make sure it's kind of even, kind of sort of even. It doesn't have to be perfect. Okay, now let's go ahead and glue this little lady in perhaps. If there's anything we want to glue to the frame, do we want to do that ahead of time? Maybe I'll just glue her in there. Just go ahead and do it. Just gonna do it. Okay. Why the glue, this is a brand new bottle, this glue. It's probably why the, why the glue is a flowing. All right, let's stick our little lady right there is fine. And then we can treat this like a little shelf. And so if we want to stick this little, um, this little piece of ephemera down in here, if we want it, this little make do thing, make do and mend is what it is, what it says. If the camera would focus, it says make do and mend. So that will go in here as well. So let me get this. This is this is really cute. This little um, this little uh, clothes hanger clip. So we could probably put that. 
maybe on here? Do we want to do that? Like, like this? We could do like that, just kind of hang it on there. And then as soon as this is tight enough, we could, we could glue this kind of in here, kind of cattywampus, cattywampus like that. And then maybe we could put the scissors down in here like that. And then where's my, sp here's my spool. My little spool can go right in there, like, like so. And then we're gonna do on the make, do, and mend. Hmm, I think it should go up here along the top of the picture frame. So let me glue all these things in now that I have kind of a somewhat of a plan. So I took this little guy out for just a second and I thought I would grab one of the little numbered clips. They're, they're these guys that you can get. Um, you can get numbered ones. Tim Holtz has blank ones, I think. And I'm going to slip that on there because I don't know why. And then I'm gonna put one of the little garment bulb pins on there. And then I have these little, I got these at Joann's a billion years ago. Come on. Have these little charms that I was gonna maybe put one on just to have a little, a little bit of a dangly dangle perhaps. And we'll see what that, we'll see what that looks like if it looks if it looks okay. It might not look okay. We will see. It might be too much. just kind of dangles off to the side there. See, I went ahead and I glued in all those little things. And those scissors are just paper, but so what I tried to do is I just put a little touch of glue so that it would um so that it would adhere. Come on. So that it would adhere and then I put the spool behind the point of the scissors to kind of hold them out a little bit and then I glued that make do and mend. So that's that. I'm trying to think if there's anything else that needs to go in here. I don't have a whole lot of sewing stuff. I do have this old trim that we could put up along the top. And another thing that you need to choose at this point, or at some point, <laughs> is if you're going to put any paper on the front or on the back. I'm not going to right now. I might um, do that later. I don't know. I thought maybe I would print out some more little um, word quotes like those, little cutout word quotes, and then because um, it's not going to be closed. It's just going to be sitting and open. But wouldn't it be cute to have like a phrase going down the front of that? I don't know. I don't know. That's why I haven't I haven't done it yet. But anyway, we could take this um, this this trim and we could put some along the top, which I think would look really awesome. So let's do that real quick. And I'm going to just take this, and it is old trim, but I'm going to um, take just the rest of the ink that's on my um, distress pad here, and I'm just going to give it kind of a, I'm going to dirty it up just a little bit here. There we go. So I kind of dirtied that up a little bit. Come on. It's like if you don't, So I dirtied it up a little bit and we will glue that up along the top or inside. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Let me think here. Do I want to glue it to the inside and then that way I can still close it? 
Do you like how everything, all my sentences end with an inflection? Um, hmm, am I gonna, well, maybe I will wanna close it. So I am going to glue that to the inside edge. Another thing I thought about is I have this, um, this cheesecloth and I could take a little, a little winky bit of that, a winky bit, you like my, my terms here? There we go. And what I thought I might do is um, I'm gonna take this off real quickly and just kind of kind of line this up and make this just a tiny bit bigger than, than the pattern. It's all about layers and layers of textures and layers of interest. And so um, I thought perhaps if I just did a little layer of that behind, and you can kind of take the strings and just pull, pull some of the strings and make it look um, old and worn and used and, you know, story of my life here. Okay, so I'm gonna put that maybe like on the on the back here, so I'll, I'll go ahead and pin this or clip this. I'm gonna clip that inside the clip. Easier said than done. Come on, here we go. Kind of pull that down a little bit. And then I'll take, and I don't wanna, I don't, I don't think I wanna put it in there permanently. And then I'll just put that over the top of it. And then we've got an extra, we've got an extra little uh, interest, some a layer in there, just of some little bits and pieces. So. Okay, so now, now I'm gonna take this little dude, and and I'm gonna take some glue and hopefully everything is nice and stuck because I'm gonna hold this upside down. Those of you that have done these before, going, you're doing it backwards and I absolutely realize that. I realize that now. So I'm gonna just kind of fiddle with this glue and kind of mush it in around the top of the, cause it's got like a little lip up there. And like I said, totally doing this backwards. But that's usually what ends up in my life. I usually end up doing stuff backwards. Because uh, I think, oh, well, that would have been cool. And I think, oh, I can still do that. Anyway. Because I'm a spaz. My friends call me squirrel. Okay. So we're going to glue that in there. and It's kind of fiddly. But um, there we go. And it makes kind of almost like a little curtain effect, maybe. And it will stick after just a minute, just to let that glue do its little, its little thing. So now we've got a little curtain there, hanging on there. Cute. And is there anything else we wanna do? I mean, cause at this point, oh, you know what we have to have? We have to have buttons. Ugh, what was I thinking? I wasn't thinking. Surprise, surprise, I was not thinking. So we need to have little buttons and where do we want the buttons? You know, where do we want these little guys? Um, and these are, these are super old. These are from Pat. Okay, um, so what I think I might do is glue a, f a couple of these little guys onto the bottom of this little simplicity pattern. Maybe, maybe like that, or maybe like that. Mm, I like up and down. Maybe, maybe like that. And another thing that we could do is I could glue one, because I got some dinky ones, some super dinky ones, and then glue one over here by this little sign. 
So let me do that, because that would be really cute. So I put some glue. These are real shell buttons, super old ones. And I'm gonna pop that puppy rot layer, rot, rot layer. Okay. Right there. And then mm, I still want one. I still want a couple, I think, over here, or at least one over here. You know what I need? I need a darker one. I need, because those are too, that one's too light, maybe. Do you like how I, like, second guess myself? <laughs> do you guys do this? Uh, and we could also put one down there at the bottom, too, and I will do that. Ugh. Okay, I'm gonna go get a darker button. Are you enjoying my colossal mess? Okay, so look at these little guys. Look how tiny, look how tiny that is. I mean, it's like the dinkiest little, look how tiny that is, oh my goodness. Okay, so that'll work as I make a colossal mess, because that's what I do. So I glued a button down there. You gotta have, gotta have buttons. And so I'm gonna take that little button here and it can go down here with maybe a white shiny shell button to go alongside it. Of course, this is, this is my thought process. If this button has four holes, then the other one has to have only two. <laughs> Why? I don't know. I don't know. I just don't know. Okay, so there is uh, that one. And then uh, this guy. I don't want to put too much glue on there, but definitely enough. So there's two little buttons there. Okay, that's so cute. Okay, I think I like this. I think I like it a lot. And am I finished? Is this enough for our little baby shadow box? I mean, it's a lot. <laughs> it's just a tiny little box, but look what I found. I have these as well. So this was an actual little Altoids tin. I haven't done anything with it yet. My hubby um, took some uh, paint thinner and what he had to do was he painted the paint thinner on it and then he put it like in a plastic bag and let it sit overnight and then wiped it all off and then the same thing with this guy and this is like a little slide but you can get these blanks um, where you don't have to use toxic chemicals <laughs> to um, get the paint off you really do you really can so Anyway, I will take some pictures for you all. I think it came out really, really sweet. There is the little button down there. Think of all the possibilities that you could do. You don't have to do sewing, of course. You could do all kinds of things. Um, this could be cute little gifts for, you know that ant that has everything? We all have that ant. <laughs> And maybe maybe she's into sewing or you gardening or whatever. You could make her a little baby shadow box that she could sit on her um, bookshelf and show off to her friends. I think that would be a little sweet thing to do. And you can just use your scraps. Like I printed that out with my printer. I didn't even have to buy that. So it's just little things that I had lying around. I bought nothing for this. Nothing at all. This is everything I had in my stash. That is what I am doing this winter. I mean, I am rebuying like glue or if I run out of a certain color of paint or something like that. But I am not buying, it. like look at all these buttons. I'm not buying buttons. Let's just put it that way. I'm not buying all kinds of little doodads. I'm going to try to use up everything of what I have. Well, not everything, but most of what I have before I start purchasing new things again. It's the, the winter of the purge. Oh, and that sounds like a, that scary movie. It's not, it's not like that. It's not like that. It's, we're purging, but we're not, we're not doing that. 
So anyway, I will take some pictures for you guys. I hope you enjoyed our little our little project today, and I hope I hope that you um, find an Altoids tin <laughs> and you do something fun with that. So thanks so much for playing with me today. We had so much fun, and and I hope that um, this gives you some inspiration to try something too. Uh, I will see you guys in the next day or so. I have a journal that I'm finishing. So, to be finishing. It'll be done very soon, I promise, and I will show you that. And um, so yeah, I'll see you guys soon. Bye guys!